We just wanted to thank everybody here for being here on this occasion after a few attempts. When we started planning all of this, I had envisioned a celebration where Roman in particular <laughs> could stand in a room full of people that love and support him and that will be there for him whenever he needs it. And when the wedding got postponed and then ultimately canceled, that was the part I had the hardest time with, was I had just envisioned this moment of him being surrounded by all of these people and seeing the faces and being physically present with the people that would be there for him throughout the rest of his life. And as this dinner started to materialize, I realized that that's exactly what has happened. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of you because even before this last year, but especially in this last year, all of you are the people that have stayed so close to us, have been by our side, who have shown up for us and for Roman. And that just means so much to me. And I so appreciate this ever expanding family and how much Roman is loved and supported. And so instead of there being a toast to us, we wanted to do a toast to all of you. Two, three. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. Come on, Shut up. Yeah, buddy. I congratulate you. Oh my God. I feel like I was the only one that heard it. Hi, Cameron. I vow to be your companion. Through good, bad, and indifferent times. To work toward. And allow space for growth in ourselves and our relationship. And to endeavor to always act out of love. Now the authority not invested in me <laughs> by God, government, except for Cameron and Ashley, I pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss your bride. Spend some time out of your day. Are you really? That's gonna make me cry. That's very cool. Yeah, you really are. That's really cool. The book shoes. You know, you know what it is? Not yet. Yeah. Soon. Maybe. <laughs> Good job. Job well done. <laughs>